It came to me when I was about six. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a acreage kid, farm kid. I always had horses and we lived rurally. And so I had that background. As I got older, we ended up moving closer to town, but I kept on the path of the veterinarian and um, decided to go away to vet school in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Growing up in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories are also exposed to lots of wildlife, so I'd always be going like fishing and hunting with my dad. I think I'm very lucky when considering I wanted to be a vet since I was probably a little girl that I'm actually here now and doing it. It's awesome. My interest in large animals started in university. When I started my ag degree at U of A, that's when I kind of got interested in food animal production and ever since then I've worked on ranches for summer jobs and really fell in love with it. It actually wasn't a specific point in my life. Um, I've always loved animals. I tried to volunteer in as many different areas as I could related to veterinary medicine. I tried to cover large animals, small animals, wildlife. I also tried to go see how clinics were in small towns compared to larger cities. I remember about grade seven wanting to be, become a veterinarian. At that point, I wasn't really sure why. So from a young age, I tried to volunteer in other extracurricular programs. I started doing some traveling when I was younger and going to uh, South America and trying to do some wildlife work and really tried to get a, uh, a good idea of what veterinary medicine was about. I knew I wanted to go into health sciences of some sort. Medicine always really interested me, and I think that was why I kind of flip-flopped between medicine and vet med for a while. But I love animals, and once I kind of settled down on this idea, it, I've never looked back. I love the outdoors. I did grow up hunting with my dad, which is kind of rare for a city boy, and I guess that instilled in me a, a love of the outdoors, a love of nature, a profound respect for nature. I asked one of the guidance counselors about veterinary medicine, and he said, oh, it's too hard. You know, you'll never get in. You're, you're, you're down here every day looking for late slips and absence notes in high school. So, you know, he right away put me in this category where, you know, I wasn't one of the ones that gets into to the college, and it's pretty competitive. Um, but if you have the determination, it's not, it's not difficult at all. One thing that definitely I thought was a, a bonus to going to the WCVM was that they had recently revised the curriculum. It makes more sense. I, I like to think of things logically and in order, so having the different courses that look at the same topic from different angles, uh, it made sense to me. I really do appreciate the systems approach. In physiology, you're studying the cardiovascular system. You're also studying the heart and anatomy, and it really helps bring it all together and make it, makes it a lot easier to understand. What I really loved was first week of class. They put you out in labs, and you're handling horses, and you're handling cows, and it was great. So I just loved that they put us in there and said, this is what you came here for, and this is why you're here, and you love animals, so let's see it. You get into fourth year in your rotations, and things start coming together, the things that you were like, I'm never going to be able to figure this out or do this. It starts to make sense, and the people are just wonderful, and they're always there to help you. And I, I really enjoyed fourth year. It was definitely my favorite year by far. I find if you go back to your basics, once you're into the fourth year, and as long as you slow down and think about what they've taught us, I think you can do a fine job. I was actually involved in most of the, the extracurricular clubs at the WCVM. In terms of hands-on animal handling, they were some of the best experiences in first year. You get to wet your beak in terms of what might be your interest in, in a future career path. I have an interest in development work and overpopulation work as well. Last summer I had the chance to travel to Africa with Vets Without Borders. That's probably been the most beneficial experience for me in terms of working with uh, communities in Africa, working with Vets Without Borders and having the college be on board as well. Vetivision is an amazing event. It's, it's huge. We have different rooms in the building set up with informational displays on every topic you can imagine. It's a really great way to kind of have that connection with with the community and, and the general population. The kids really like it. This is the veterinary medicine camp. 
I was never able to really communicate as efficiently with children until I took this job and now I've really found ways to break things down, make things simple. In, in the vet clinic that I end up in, I could be, I could be teaching. That is exactly what veterinarians normally do. They're teaching their clients how to care for their animals. I mean, having a teaching hospital here um, is, is hugely important. I mean, we get so much of our experience from the actual cases. Not only that, but being a referral centre for most of all of Western Canada, we see things here that you would never see out in private practice or in most other practices. I've heard from students from other colleges in Canada and North America as well that um, who've visited our college who think we have things very well set up and are quite jealous of the teaching hospital that we have. I find the setup in the large animal clinic is very efficient and they have two brand new surgery suites and good handling facilities for the cattle and it just makes it enjoyable when you have all the technology. Being in the same building as the teaching hospital is, is invaluable. Because we're in the building, we have an opportunity that if there is a really interesting case, we can bring that case right to the first years. And I think that really helps students because it's not just a textbook. There's a lot of universities in the world they don't have these kind of facilities and so their students come from various countries in Europe or other countries around the world to get practical experience and they don't have any of that training. Research is something that I've wanted to get experience in because it's easier to do while you're going through school, I think, while you have the, the support of, of faculty here. One area that research has definitely helped with first year is to be able to go in and pick up a research journal or a trade journal and be able to read it and understand the science behind it, that's critically important. I have heard great things about this university. It's been around for a very long time. Um, a great deal of research comes out of here. They're very well-known professors, so it was a, just a good place all around to go to. Every time I was introduced to exotics in any way, I just came out of it so excited by the whole concept of it and loving the species that you get to see. And I'm really interested in zoo medicine. I really like the kind of bigger exotic animals. And so that's a lot of fun for me. Just that every class is related to animals and to veterinary medicine interests me. I really enjoyed also the public health, the relation to public health, uh, Dr. Campbell has taught us a bunch about uh, disease emergence and disease ecology and that is also a possible avenue for me in the future. I'm doing two externships so that's where I get to go outside of the vet college for two weeks at a time. So I'm going to go down to Colorado and um, Arizona to two equine practices. And then that also allows me to maybe to set up an internship for next year. There's so many paths that you can take once you get your DVM. You can go into research, you can go into practice and start practicing right away. You can do your internship, you can specialize in whatever you want, you can go into academia. So there's lots of different opportunities out there with this one DVM. During the three years um, here, what I have to do for the ABDC, which is the American Veterinary Dental College, I have a minimum requirement of cases. I have to submit and publish a few papers as well. And then there's also the, the master's portion of my program. I do a presentation on my project. For the American Veterinary Dental College, I write my board exam. To go back to, uh, to learn something new, it refreshes your career, it refreshes your perspective. I went to Colorado State University for my residency in medical imaging and um, spent three years there. It's really exciting because it brings you at a different level. I'm now starting into different areas of research and the areas of research that I'm interested in it actually will have an impact on human arthritis. I would say volunteer, 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 volunteer. That is where I found my passion. That's where I figured out that this is exactly what I want to do with the rest of my life. During the uh, application process at first, you're, you're kind of just a name and a number and a list of grades. So if you do happen to get to that point where you get an interview, that's where you really get the opportunity to set yourself apart from other candidates. 
do it. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing career, it's an amazing opportunity, and it takes a lot of hard work, but it's very, very worth it. And uh, if you keep at it and really want it, you'll, you'll get here. I believe that if you're pursuing a career in veterinary medicine, you enjoy the, the lifestyle, the uh, environment, um, the animals, and the science. And that's why I'm here. I think the biggest you know, message that I want them to hear is it's not too late. You can, you know, you can always, especially, I mean, there's lots of um, kids with similar backgrounds to mine. You know, they didn't do well in school. Um, they, and not because they weren't smart, just because they never really tried. You just have to have the dedication um, and, you know, the stamina to, to get through it. Then it's, I mean, it's hard work, but it's, it's worth it. Keep going for it. And that's what I always had that goal set in mind, you know, something I wanted to do. And now I couldn't be happier with my decision. So if, I, if I could go back, I'd do it the exact same way. You look at where you're, where this is all going to go to and you have your concrete goal, you're going to be a veterinarian, you're going to be able to treat animals and save animals' lives and when you think of your goal in the, in the long run, even though it's three years, four years away, it still makes you want to work hard and get there. And it's just great having that one goal at the end that you're working towards and that really makes me want to work harder towards it. It's great. If this is what you want to do with the rest of your life, this is the perfect place to do it. There are great teachers, there are great people, great resources. This is, I, would, I wouldn't want to go anywhere else.